Okay, now Jesse is going to talk about the legends of Blood's Point, which is a a mythic ghost story. There was this farmer guy, I'm gonna say 1800s for sure this time. Farm, I'm gonna call him, I don't know his first name, I'm gonna call him Farmer John, because that just seems like a Farmer typical. Rick. Farmer Rick. Well, Farmer Rick's last name was Blood. And he happened to move to an unpopulated area near Cherry Valley. So they built the road, they named the road, uh, Blood's Point Road after his last name. Slowly the area starts to get populated, and a witch by the name of Witch Beulah <laughs> moved right next to the farmer. I still think that part's a little ridiculous. Moved right next to Farmer Blood. Well, <laughs> Farmer Blood starts kicking it super hard with Homegirl Witch, <laughs> Homegirl Beulah. The rest of the town sees this and is like, hold on, red flag. <laughs> why are you why are you kicking in with a witch? Yellow flag, there's a penalty on the play. Basically farmer farmer Rick Farmer Rick Blood was like the he was held he was held in high standards, you know, the, the guy. So everybody's like, hold on. He's kicking it with the witch. And everybody's just freaked out and they're like, no, nah, something something bad's gonna happen. They were right. Farmer Rick Blood ends up killing his uh his wife in the barn, stabs the crap out of her. I was gonna say shit, but <laughs> stabs her to death and has three children. There's this bridge on Blood Point Road where the the whole uh, the whole story revolves around. He walked his three children up to the bridge and then he hung them one by one, killed them. And then he jumped off the bridge and killed himself. It's like a 15 foot drop. <laughs> the only known survivor of the Blood family was the dog. I don't know, must have been kicking it with the witch too. <laughs> Cause the dog went crazy and just started acting rabid and then disappeared. And there's this, uh, there's two different stories. You'll hear what sounds like hooves from a horse or what sounds like a train wreck or something. That's what they said, I don't know. But you'll look behind you and you'll see this big dumbass dog that looks like horse size. And he'll chase you no matter how fast you're going, the dog keeps up with you. And dogs have red eyes. There's just another myth where there was this lady dressed in a clown costume bus full of kids, they were coming from some party and she crashed it off the bridge and killed everybody. This is the, the myth. If you put your car in neutral and shut off all your lights and kill the engine on the bridge, the kids that died in that bus will push you off the bridge so you don't fall too. They part, they push you backwards too, I heard too. But if you sprinkle baby powder in the back of your car, you can get, you can catch fingerprints and stuff. I've done it, the, I've been there four times, only the last time I've done the baby powder and it worked. It worked, we did it like four times. It worked all four times, we got fingerprints. And it, it seems to work better with the last baby powder you use. We used it once and we were like, all right, we're gonna go all out, cover this whole motherfucker. <laughs> and we used way too much, and it, it sucks for your car too, if you use a lot. And there's this, uh, at the end of Blood's Point Road is where uh, farmer Rick Blood lived, and he had this farm. It's no longer there, it's just the foundation and stuff. There's this cemetery there, and a lot of people uh, talk, about, talk about seeing a lady in white, and it's, uh, Farmer Rick Blood's wife that he killed. And in the cemetery, I don't know how long ago they removed it, but there was this chair that a chair under a light in the cemetery that whoever sat in it would die like the next couple of days. I don't know, maybe like four or five people died, then they removed the chair. I don't know if that's real or not. I don't know if it's documented or not, but I thought that was creepy. And then the next road over is called Sweeney Road. There's an underpass. And that's pretty much the creepiest thing about the road, besides the fact that if you go up like maybe I want to say like 50 feet more, there's this little inlet where you can park, and there's a path that goes into the forest that's like a natural forest preserve or something like that. There's a story about a uh, old redneck guy with a shotgun that'll chase you until you get out of the forest, and then once you get out of the forest, I mean, since you're in a panic, you're gonna get in your car and just drive off, try to get as, get out of there as fast as you can. He'll chase you in a black. A blacked out, murdered out rig. Blacked out, murdered like, out. Like rims blacked out, whole rig blacked out. So it blends in. Like a ghost truck. Ghost truck, ghost truck, like that, ghost truck. And he'll get right up on you and he'll shine the lights on you. You won't even know he's behind you until he shines the lights. Like, That's just the rednecks that live in the woods, dude. I'm not, I'm not crazy enough to find out. I wouldn't do any of that. I wouldn't try any of that, but if I did, I would take salt with me. Because like I said, supernatural. That TV show. Salt yeah. really does uh, repel spirits, supposedly. It's a symbol of purity. So I would definitely take like loads of salt with me. But I do recommend if you go out there, unless you like think you're the shit and got really huge balls, and oh man, you shit out here, you shit out here, I'm going with my suit. 
I don't recommend that. I do not recommend, I recommend bringing at least three people with you. Uh, at least another male, if you're gonna bring, you know, three people with you. Uh, a I'm big at, guy, bring a big I'm guy. I'm a guy, I'm gonna bring three chicks with me. No, <laughs> bad idea, bad idea. Bring at least another guy with you. I'm bringing at least three people with me. I've been there four times and I'm bringing at least three people with me. Uh, the first time I was with my friends, uh, Buick. And then there was uh, a tourist behind me. The tourist actually uh, died twice. Nothing happened in our car, but the tourist died twice. I think it was because of this piece of shit. <laughs> the second time we were in the same Buick, but we only had, the first time we had eight people with us in two cars. The second time we had four people with us in the, the Buick. It was me, my friend, Michael. Not this Michael, but another Michael. Uh, my cousin, uh, Crystal, and her friend, Ashley. The chicks were in back and the guys were in front and the chicks were fucking with us the whole time. Whoa, scaring us and shit. <laughs> so that's the only thing that made it scary besides the fact that I saw a deer. Explain oh, the deer. Explain the oh, deer man. real quick. Okay. So in this Buick, the passenger side is the only one that has the working window and they decided to roll it all the way down. Cause, I don't know. The chick in the back had asthma but was smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, and was complaining that we can't have the window because we can't hot box a cigarette. But she smokes and she's got asthma. Yeah, I don't understand that. When you're going down Bless Point Road, when you're entering it, on the uh, passenger side, there's nothing but cornfields. And on the driver's side, there's houses and stuff. So with my window being down all the way, I'm just waiting for something to pop out of those cornfields, just grab my ass out of the car, snatch me out, like Jeepers Creepers. That's what I'm thinking, Jeepers Creepers all day, man. They're going to get me. So I'm, I'm just waiting for something to happen, and something happens. Something comes running out of the cornfield, and I don't, I don't like, yeah, I don't register that it's a deer. I just see something run out, and I'm like, my life's over. It's gonna get me. So I close my eyes and I plug my ears. So I, don't, I plug my ears because I don't like to hear my own scream, and I just scream like, ah! And everybody freaks out. Everybody's freaking out. Everybody screams with me, and everybody's just freaking out. I'm like, oh my god, what happened? He hits on the brakes, dude. Oh my god, what, what's going on? What's going on? And I'm like. That deer. <laughs> and you look over and that deer's got his ass in the air and he turns around. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't like that when he came out. He came out. And he, he, no, the deer the deer actually got scared from my scream. <laughs> the deer got scared and was like, no, I'm going to go back to this cornfield. But then we slowed down and he looked back like his ass was in the air. You saw his white tail and his ass. And then he turned back like, huh? And then he went back. Oh, man, that was, that was scary. That was the scariest part for me. Because the whole time the chicken in the back was just, Rah, scaring me at like different points down on, down the road. Whoa, whoa! Check this out. So when we went to those chicks, that was the second time I went. All of a sudden, dude, it gets super foggy to where you can see like three feet in front of the car with the high beams on, with the fog lights on too. You know what that probably was? Coldness. I don't know. Supposedly, when there's a spirit around, you should have cold spots where the spirit is. Was it cold or just foggy? It was both. And no, oh my god, the first time, this chick had this camera, weirdest camera ever. You take a picture, and it's got this creepy ass noise, like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And, and she shines it, and uh, the guy's car had this creepy, well, this unusual mirror, to where it's got like another mirror inside of it. And when she shined it out the window, and this thing glue, and I was like, holy shit, that's someone's eye. That's what I thought when, when the flash went off, it lit up like real quick. And I was like, oh my God, that was someone's eye. Someone just came into the car and just looked at me. I haven't got out of the car besides take pictures. You're supposed to walk through the cemetery and walk through that little forest preserve. And if you got uh, flashlights with you when you walk into that forest, they die automatically whether they're brand new or not. But I'm not getting out of the car walking through either place unless I've got two people with me. Guys. One of them, one of them preferably slower than me. Like, I don't think you should mess with that stuff. I think the farther you go, the more chance you have of getting hurt. Like, for serious. That's the gist of it. Go creepy. Cherry Valley. It's my, it's my painting away.